I look at where would Kel be at his best, and that's 154 pounds, but he doesn't want to vacate his belt. I want Kel to move to 154 pounds, but he doesn't want to because he doesn't want to vacate the titles. You move up to 154, but who do you fight? We would love the Cotto fight, but he doesn't want that. I know Kel is a much better fighter at 154 than 147. I think it'd be an excellent fight, and I could even look to bring that fight to the UK, but does Cotto want to fight Brook? I don't believe he does. I tried to make that fight before. Peter Nelson of HBO was on board, but when we went to Rock Nation, they wanted no parts of it. I think it's a situation where Cotto wants the biggest fight, and Cotto is the perfect fight for Kell Brook, and it's a tough fight, a 50-50 fight. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn talking about a fight which he has been talking about, you know, uh, he has been mentioning for quite a long time now, which is between Kell Brook, his fighter, and Miguel Cotto or Cotto, however people want me to pronounce it. I don't speak Spanish at the end of the day. So yeah, they've been calling for this fight for a long time. It would be a big fight. Cotto is definitely past his best coming to the end of his career so he's still a big name and I'm sure Eddie Hearn genuinely believes that Brook has got a good chance of beating him and even if he don't beat him it's such a big money spinner that it's worth taking that type of risk Cotto apparently is not interested perhaps he's looking only at marquee names in the United States and right now Kell Brook's name is not big enough in the United States to make Cotto interested in fighting Kell Brook. I'm sure that Miguel Cotto, if Brook was bringing enough money to the table, he'd jump at a chance. Miguel Cotto has fought everybody. The only person that I've really, that I can remember Miguel Cotto not wanting to fight was Triple G. When he was, when uh, Cotto had the middleweight title, a version of the middleweight title, he wasn't keen on fighting Triple G. But he had no business fighting the middleweight anyway. You know, you have, you have to give him credit for even going up that high. Uh, even though there were some catch weights and stuff like that. So, Brook is not a Triple G. He's not a middleweight. So, I've got no doubt that there's no way Cotto is going to be afraid of Kell Brook or anything like that. Not at all. But at this stage of his career, he's looking to cash in and make the most money possible against marquee names. So, yeah. If the fight did ever happen, how do you see it going? Bearing in mind that Cotto, again, is way past his best at this point. He did put in a decent performance against Canelo Alvarez in a fight which I thought was a hell of a lot closer than the judges had it. And Freddie Roach has been very vocal about that as well recently, saying that, you know what, that fight was nothing like the way the judges had it scored. Uh, I think Roach believes that Cotto won the fight. You would expect him to say that being his trainer. But there were also other people, maybe Miguel Cotto fans, and also some neutrals who felt that Cotto did actually win it. And me personally, I had the fight scored to Alvarez by one point. So I had it very close. <laughs> I definitely agree with the uh, the sentiments of Freddie Roach that the scoring was way off. So yeah, that was a decent performance. But it's been a long time since then. He can't have got any better since then with a long layoff. He can o only have deteriorated. Kell Brook is younger. Kell Brook is coming into his prime. We think. We don't know how much damage the Triple G fight did to him. We'll see. Uh, but still, you have to give Kell Brook a competitive chance at least. Even if you wouldn't make him favourite, you have to say he's got a, a, a fair shot. Um, or maybe you don't. You don't have to say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but I'm just thinking out loud here. Let me know what you do think in the comments section below about... Miguel Cotto turning down apparently the Kell Brook fight and if it did take place who would you be picking and why how would the fight play out all right let me know in the comment section people it's happening I'm out